Hello. Hi. Hey. Would it be possible for me to come in tomorrow with Bethany and have another look at the model? Let me arrange something with my associate. <laughs> associate get you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Fire away. I keep quiet. I stay on side. But when all this mess is over and done with Sarah, she gets her money back. How? Oh. We go halves out of our share, me and you. That is non-negotiable. So Sarah gets her money back, but nobody else does? You're not going to make Sarah a bit suspicious? No, you leave Sarah to me. I'll tell her I pulled some strings and to keep quiet about it. She'll be so happy to get the money. She won't even question it. Done. Done? You're just going to roll over, just like that? I told you, I need you on side for everybody's sake. Now, have we got a deal? The lad is back on board. We'll have no more trouble out of him. You can count on that. How do you convince him? Just told him the truth. Told him if he crossed you, it would be the last thing he ever did. Direct approach. I'm pointing pussy foot around, is it? True. Do you need me at this meeting? Not really. There's an old mate of mine. He reckons he's got a couple of old deers lined up for the flats, so fine. Why? Just a bit of insurance. In God we trust. Something like that. Excuse me, Vicar. You all right? Now I've seen you. Do you have five minutes? What for? Didn't expect to see you. How are you feeling? All right, just, um, I feel a bit groggy from the tablets. Yeah, just had a nap. What? Look at you. Poker face. It's the, uh, it's the one God gave me. When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? I've just seen Pat. He's, he's just told me about the Kenyan trip that you want to pay for me to go and work for the charity out of some of the profit from the flats. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you tell me you were working with him again? I, I just, um... <clears throat> it just happened this afternoon. Yeah, I was mad to give it up. I think I'm still a bit messed up from the um, syringe, you know. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Can't believe it. Pat's offered to pay for the other half of the trip out of his own pocket. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, surprised me in all today. I guess he needed me more than I thought, right? And you'll be doing some good, after all, just like you wanted. Yeah, just call me Mother Teresa of the Northwest. <laughs> um, how about we? Put the last few weeks behind us. Start again. Billy, I'd, I'd like that more than anything. <laughs> no more secrets, yeah? We've got to be completely honest with each other about everything. Yeah, yeah, of course. Could be a good Well played. You and the vicar back on, then? I thought I could be manipulative. I just thought I'd do you a favour, you know, sweeten the deal. Let you see that something good can come out of all of this. For those poor little kids in Africa. You know, we look after Jason's interests, we even look after Sarah's. You get your boyfriend back, everyone's a winner. Don't pretend you're doing this for anyone but yourself. Me and my family, yeah? I'm not your family. No, but your mum is the closest thing I've got to it. So, like it or not, one way or another, we're in this together. 